This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Tuesday, November 29th. Disney Cruise Line announced that next summer it'll be offering special 25th anniversary voyages across all five of its ships. In that same announcement, Disney also introduced a brand new tier in its loyalty program, Castaway Club. Currently, the program has three tiers based on the number of cruises a guest has sailed with Disney. The top tier is Platinum, which is awarded once a guest has sailed at least 10 Disney cruises. Next year, however, a new Pearl tier will be added, which guests can reach once they've hit 25 sailings with the line. The benefits will be announced early next year. In the eastern Canadian port of Quebec has reported a strong 22 cruise season, welcoming over 92,000 cruise guests and 41,000 crew members. The port welcomed 28 cruise ships on 96 ports of call during its cruising season, which ran from April to November. Eight cruise ships had their maiden calls to Quebec City in 22, including Holland America's new Stottendam, Norwegian Pearl, and Vikings' first expedition ship, the Viking Octantis. And the former Norwegian Wind and Norwegian Dream cruise ships have arrived at the scrapyard, most recently operated by Star Cruises as Superstar Aquarius and Superstar Gemini. The vessels will now be scrapped in Alang, India. The two 50,000-ton sister ships were built in France for NCL back in 92 and 93. They originally entered service as the Windward and Dreamward before renamed Norwegian Wind and Norwegian Dream. So long, friends. And cruise line stocks were down on Monday. Carnival Corporation down 4%, 9.32. Royal Caribbean down 3%, 58.10. And NCL down 3%, 15.91. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.